In this video, we will learn how to decompose total effect of price change into substitution effect and income effect using Slutsky's equation. The question is, suppose weekly demand for milk is being given us as x1 is equal to 10 plus m upon 10 p1. m is the income and p1 is the price, initial price. If you have an income of $120 per week and price of milk is $3 per gallon, if price of milk falls to $2 per gallon, find total effect, substitution effect, and income effect, okay? So, this is our Slutsky's equation. We want to find out the total effect or price effect, and we want to decompose it into substitution effect and income effect, okay? What we are being given here, we are being given this demand function. I have written it here. X1 is equal to 10 plus M upon 10 P1. Initial price of milk is $3, and it has fallen to uh, $2. That is, a new price is $2. That is P2, and initial income of the consumer is $120. Okay, first step is in solving this question to find out the quantity demanded at initial income and at initial price. Initial income is $120, initial price is uh, 3. Solving this, so initial quantity demanded will be equal to 14. Okay, let's draw the graph side by side what we are doing here. Okay, so let us say we have milk which is denoted by x1 here on horizontal axis and let us say x2 is some another good on vertical axis. So, we have the initial budget line like this. Let us say this is our initial budget line and at this initial bu budget line, optimality will require that indifference curve should be tangent to this budget line and it happens that initially we are, you know, uh, purchasing uh, 14 gallons of milk. Let us say it is here 14. Okay. So simple thing. First we want to find out the quantity demanded at initial income and at initial price. We are also being told that the price of milk has fallen from $3 to $2 per gallon. That means price of milk has fallen. What will happen then? If price of milk has fallen, that means purchasing power, real income will increase. Okay? If real income increases, quantity demanded of milk will also increase. Okay? So, what happens on graph? This black uh, budget line will pivot towards right. And let me draw it here. So, it will become like this. Okay, this is our new budget line. And let me write it here. This is our new budget line. Now, next step is to find out the change in income. Okay, how much money do we need to take away from the consumer so that real income remains same? and initial bundle is just affordable let me repeat it here we want to find out how many dollars of income do we need to take away so that real income remains constant and initial bundle is just affordable so that will be equal to change in income will be equal to x1 that is the initial bundle times the change in price what is change in price simple p1 is 2 P2 is 3, so change in price will be equal to 3, sorry, P2 is 3, P2 is 2, okay? So change in price is only 1 in absolute terms. So change in income will be equal to X1, the initial bundle, times change in price, that is 1, which comes out to be 14. That means we need to take away $14 from the consumer so that the initial bundle is just affordable and his real income remains constant and how do we uh, you know show it on graph it simply is being shown here in such a manner that this new budget line you know shifts parallel towards left in such a way it passes through the initial point let us say it is initial point was our a okay so that means we are taking away $14 from the consumer so that initial bundle is just affordable. Now, next step will be to find out 
the new income m dash so m dash will be equal to so on this what will be the in new income that will be uh, equal to the old income minus change in income so initial income was 120 dollars we have taken away uh, you know 14 dollars that means it is uh, you know 106 dollars so new income will be 106 dollars now that the the third step will be rather the fourth step will be okay to find out the quantity demanded at new income and at new price okay let's denote it by x1 you know uh, prime rather x1 dash is equal to we want to find out the new bundle or new uh, you know quantity of uh, milk at new income so in place of m we have m dash and at new price that is p2 so we have here 10 plus m dash is 106 upon 10 into new you know new prices that is being given us as two dollars solving this out it will come out to be 15.3 okay so what we are doing here we are just trying to find out the quantity demanded at new price and at new income after uh, you know we have deducted 14 dollars so quantity demanded is 15.3 if it is 14 let us say it is here let us say it is uh, at at this point so we are it is 15.3 here here we can see one thing even when we take away income the relative price of x1 is still cheaper than the other good so the demand for milk will go up okay now fourth step is and here obviously we will have uh, a new indifference curve will be, which will be tangent to this uh, you know uh, this is also called the compensated budget line this blue line now the question may arise here why we choose point let us say it is point b why we choose point b our point a here okay so here you can see at uh, point a indifference curve crosses or intersects our this compensated budget line so when indifference curves intersect the budget line that is not the optimal solution but at point b indifference curve is just tangent to the compensated budget line okay so let me repeat it here here you can see this uh, at point a this indifference curve is although tangent to the old budget line initial budget line but it is it intersects the compensated uh, you know budget line so point a cannot be the optimal solution at point b indifference curve is just tangent to the compensated budget line so this will be our optimal point here we cannot choose a here okay now uh, our fifth step will be we want to find out and let me write it here uh, you know quantity demanded and let's denote it by double dash quantity demanded at old income and new price that means we want to release this uh, income uh, that we have taken away from the consumer so we want to calculate the quantity demanded at old income that is initial income and at new price that is we have 10 plus old income is m upon 10 uh, you know at new price that is p2 so we have 10 plus old income is our initial income was 120 120 upon 10 into 2 which will give us is 16 okay so quantity uh, when we take this away okay when we uh, you know release the income we will be at this new budget line again okay so quantity demanded will be equal to 16 let us say it is here let us say this point you notice this so 
so here the movement from a to b is called the substitution effect and the movement from you know uh, let us say it is point c the movement from point uh, b to c is just income effect and total effect will be equal to uh, you know uh, total effect is equal to you know 16 minus 14 which comes out to be 2 here so here you can see total effect is equal to substitution effect plus income effect now what is substitution effect we are moving from point a to b so we have this effect from 14 to 15.3 so the substitution effect is 15.3 minus 14 which comes out to be 0 0.7 what is in income effect that is from 15.3 to 16 so we have 16 minus 15.3 this comes out to be 1.3 so total effect is equal to so what is total effect initially uh, no finally we are consuming you know 16 units that is x double um, dash minus initially we were having 14 so this is x day so we have 16 minus 14 which denotes our total effect that is 2 so 2 units you know change in the quantity is because 0 0.7 units are uh, because of the substitution effect and 1.3 units are because of the income effect and they will add up to the uh, 2 here